So, so excited for this one today. Takis Fuego mini snack bites with five of the best dips from my refrigerator. Let's go. Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sean Ely, and today on the show where you donate and I eat what you want me to eat, Daniel Hunt wrote in, I would love for you to try the Totino's Takis mini snack bites. I know it doesn't quite fit in with the nostalgic foods you've had lately. Whoa, 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 Dan, don't you dare. This is about you today. Whatever, anybody, screw nostalgia, dude. I like the new stuff. What did my voice do? I like the new stuff on K100. That really rock. The stealth. <laughs> <laughs> Bad improv. Now, I don't know about you, but you need to try these. They are even better if you have some ranch sauce. We both know you do. Lol. <laughs> shut up. Stop knowing me. What have I done? Sorry for telling you to shut up. I adore you. So disclaimer, Sean Ely has had these before, but only once and only about 10 of them and never with an array of sauces. So we thought we'd do five of my favorites here today. One, two, three, four, five, and see which one goes best with these Takis snack bites. I've become obsessed with reading labels ever since I've been doing this vlog. These are General Mills, Minneapolis, Minnesota. General Mills makes frozen Takis. Stick to the cereal, guys. <laughs> Help them get more of what they need with General Mills Kid Cereals. Who are you to tell us what to do? <laughs> I'm just kidding, you can evolve. Thank you. Let's give it up today for the one and only Mr. Daniel Hunt. I love when people have favorite. Oh cool, I'm weak now. You mean you always were? <laughs> Why struggle when scissors were invented? Is this what it means to scissor? No. Do you guys sometimes regret watching this? Okay, so here's here's what they look like in the bag. I don't really feel like getting this cutting board all messed up before they're cooked, but here's what they look like. They're crazy. They look like caterpillars. I think I said that in a video where I've eaten these before. Rusty caterpillars. But I truly believe that these were made for dipping. These are a vehicle. They look great, but anything frozen like this, bite size, I want to dip. Not sure if you guys have been properly introduced. Some of you have. This is Jackie Air Fryer. She does the uh, majority of the work here. And look at that. She's already freshly lined. <laughs> it wasn't gross, but I, for some reason, the giggle made it sound like I'm of a pervert or something. What the? Shot was completely unnecessary. Can someone send me a new phone? Wouldn't it be funny if that wasn't recording? That's pretty cool. <laughs> These are gonna do to my insides anything what that grease did to my three cell phone cameras. It's <laughs> not looking good. I legitimately need to have a GoPro that's just for food shots, like a, a food pro. It's so easy to picture waking up at three in the morning, turning on the TV and seeing an infomercial for the food pro. It's a camera. Call right now for three easy payments of $39.99 to get your food pro. Call in the next 10 minutes and we'll send you a second one free of charge. We'll also send you our swivel clip. What is the markup where that's possible? Are you guys making any money? <laughs> All right, we got oven, we got microwave. You get with the times, dude. Oh, and in Spanish, oven is horno. <laughs> Hi, I'll be your host. I'm immature. I'm gonna go 360 for like seven minutes and look at them. If this big thing behind the camera is a conventional oven, is is this an unconventional oven? You're a boy! All right. I really just wanted to use the sauce cups today. <laughs> We've got a hot sauce. This one's pretty decent. Going in cup number one. We've got the greatest ranch on the planet. Jets Pizza Ranch. You can get a whole damn bottle of it with your order for like three, four bucks. So do that. Sounds a little concerning though. Because these kind of have some like hot chili pepper and lime seasoning in them and they're kind of like a Mexican food in a really lame way, I'm gonna do one of my favorite jarred salsas is Chi Chi's. Remember Chi Chi's? Chi Chi's. Can you ever have too much? As a kid, when I found out that restaurant stood for boobs, <laughs> that was how my comedy started and that's why it's never evolved. Hey, <coughs> this is kind of weird obviously, but I just thought it'd be fun. I just loved Chi Chi's salsa and I have some leftovers. So let's do that. We've also got JL Crafts, one of the most underrated condiments in the condiment aisle, garlic aioli. I know it's just garlic and mayonnaise, but there's something about eating aioli that makes me feel very fancy like Applebee's on a date night. That's a and finally, we've got the new white hotter trough. I just had this for the first time a couple weeks ago. It's my new favorite of their lineup. I'm obsessed. 
I assume it's gonna work very well for Takis. I don't wanna use too much of it because it's so expensive. It's kinda like me, guys. It's expensive, but worth it. <laughs> I'm not a prostitute. All right, Jackie, nice job. Boston open a little bit. Shake it up. Try my best to pour. Nope. <laughs> this is why tongs were invented for idiots. Imagine going to die on that hill. <laughs> cool. All right, as you're watching this, let me know which of these condiments you think I'm gonna like the most. I'm not gonna be biased with Sixer Sauce. I'm really gonna pick which one of these works the best with these specifically. All right, sweet Danny boy. I'll go get Danny, all right? He'll be right with you. Hold on. Danny! Coming, sis! Who also did two donations and is gonna make me eat this very, very soon. So if you know, you know. Let's have some fun. Let's eat one naked. This is the first thing I'm eating today. My body has had black coffee and now these. So if anybody would like to donate for my general well-being, like hemorrhoid cream. Let's, but let's move on. Okay, here we go. Takis, snack bites. There's three things that immediately happen. You notice the crunch, the texture is like good. Then like cheese oozes into your mouth. You're like, whoa, that's the chaser. Crunch, cheese chaser, and then the spice hits you. Takis are like one of the most popular snack foods on planet Earth, and they've done a great job of making this feel almost like the experience of eating Takis without the crunch, really, like the same crunch. It's like a different crunch. It's like apples and oranges. They're really good. Yeah, Takis are seriously intense. Chili pepper and lime go so good together. Takis, face the intensity. Yeah, I'm gonna need those back. Dan, I'm so glad you donated because I never, on my own time, would have ever bought these. So this is my Thursday. <laughs> all right, now while you're all here, we're gonna go down the line. We're gonna run the gambit. Line them up, knock them down. First up, hot sauce. Get a nice generous coating there. Here's why it's incredible. This specific hot sauce has a sweetness to it because it has honey. So it's balancing all that salt and all that citrus. And that's spicy. That's been in the bottle for like a year, that one. So it's built that ghost pepper heat. Ooh, that's fantastic. I think I'm gonna like the coolness better though of the Jets Ranch. I just, if I had to pick. That's revolutionary. Wow. Every time I have Jets Ranch again, I think I'm gonna be like, oh, I was just overhyping it, and it always delivers. It is the best ranch on the planet. That is so good. Now the Chi Chi's salsa. Now the boob salsa. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! I'm a hack. All right, here we go. Mmm! I'll be honest, I didn't actually think that was gonna work. I thought it was gonna be really weird because you need like a chip to scoop it, but just the flavor itself is good. Mmm. The onions and like the green pepper give it a freshness, like a good refreshing balance. Oh, wow. Look at, I'm going for my third one. I clearly like this a lot. And it actually does sit on there pretty good. That is surprising. Wow. I know homemade and fresh salsas are great, but Tostitos and Chi Chi's, say what you will, they do a great job. They're so good every time. Like, I never mind a Tostitos or a Chi Chi's. Okay, here we go. Garlic aioli. Would you do it? Glob. Globby bites. I can't believe I'm saying this. That works better than the ranch for this. Wow. Look at that. I didn't think this was gonna be so difficult. It's gonna be tough to pick. Why do we do this? For England, James. For England, James? No. For me. Anybody traveling fans? Okay, here we go. The hotter white trough. My mouth, what it's relaying to my brain, it doesn't know what's going on. Eating these and then just rapid firing through the... That is so spicy too. I can't believe how hot truff made their hotter white truff. I'm gonna whittle it down to three for the next round. Garlic aioli for sure, salsa for sure. I'm gonna go hotter truff over the Jets Ranch in the Sixer sauce for this reason. They're thicker. Jets Ranch can be traditionally a little runnier than I like it. Like that's the one thing I knock about it is it's not thick enough. And Sixer sauce isn't as thick as truff. 
So I want kind of a thick thickness. And now you really can't say I'm biased. <laughs> Garlic aioli. I'd give up red meat for that. Salsa. I cannot believe how well that works. Also, Chi Chi's mild salsa is so good. Also, if you didn't realize from the packaging, these are made by the same like sub brand that makes pizza rolls. So they've got the like encapsulated product down. How to trough. I can't believe I'm doing this. This is getting weeded out next round. Aioli versus salsa. The championship, who'd everybody bet on sports books? This is so tough because they're so different. All right, I have a winner. These snack bites are straight up great. I love the texture. My mouth's on fire. <laughs> did you put the top on or did they, did they put the top on? Uh, did you put the top on or did they put the top on no. for you? They put the top on and they made the top. You didn't make the top, did you? <laughs> Dan thought he was just paying for a Takis Fuego video. He got a lot more. Dan, is ranch your favorite? Let me know. The winner here today of the Condiment Snack Bites Fuego Challenge is... Garlic aioli! <laughs> it was close. The refreshingness of the aioli and the stick, like the dairy is wildly great. Salsa coming in second, to, to be honest, they were a five seed in this unnecessary March Madness. <laughs> There's only five seeds. They would have been a 16. Honestly, man, no, no. They maybe would have been like a 512 upset. It'd be like a 12. 16 would be like Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> Dan, thank you so much for donating to the vlog. The daily videos continue. Hit the Venmo, the Cash App, the PayPal. If you guys wanna pick what I eat, I make a video for every donation that comes in. I can sit here at my oven, I can go out and about, I could just do like a bottled water versus. <laughs> I thought about doing that once. This is a fun little lunch today. Nutritionally uh, abysmal. I'll do anything for my doctor not to find out that I made this, but overall fun. <laughs> Shut up. They don't make your hands that red like Takis do. It's surprising. What's the science going on there? See you guys tomorrow for a brand new video. Thanks for rocking with me. Thanks for watching daily. We're like a thousand people a day strong. Imagine lining up a thousand people and performing in front of them with air fried spicy nuggets. <laughs> Cheers. Dan, thanks again. Donation Notebook, March 3rd for Totino's Takis Snack Bites. Whew, we got some donations to do. See this one right here? I'm dreading that one. I'm excited, but I'm dreading it. Oh boy.